these are not my recipes. I didn't make them up. I'm just cooking them. Why? Because I want to learn how to cook better and I bought a cookbook so I'm going to use it. Housekeeping. I don't own any rights to any music you hear. I just can't cook while it's silent. So, today we are making something I've had my eye on for a while. Unstuffed shells with butternut squash and leeks. This will be my first time ever cooking with leeks. Trying a new thing, friends. So, in this recipe, our macro breakdown per serving. Oof, I didn't save this ahead of time. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? We are in the pasta and noodles. We are doing unstuffed. It is, where is it? All right, 640 calories per serving with 21 grams of fat. Total carbs are 93 and there are 15 grams of protein in this one, okay? So, today, here's what it looks like in the book. We are going to do, we need a quarter cup of plant-based ricotta cheese, which if you pay attention to other episodes, this is going to be a homemade ricotta cheese. Uh, we need some mint, which I actually don't have and I couldn't find. However, there's a kitchen improv and it says we can use parsley, so we're gonna use parsley. Grated lemon zest. I had an organic lemon that I used for the ricotta. I needed the juice and I got the organic zest for this one. Uh, pepper. Then we need some extra virgin olive oil. Got it here. Butternut squash, um, which I have here. And we need a one leek, white and light green parts only half lengthwise sliced thin and washed thoroughly. I need to chop it a little more because I just sliced it and washed the crap out of it. So I gotta chop it a little more for you guys. Then we need some salt, minced garlic cloves, which we have a plethora of, a veg broth, half a cup of plant-based creamer, which I do have. I'm a little nervous about because there is sugar in it. We'll see. And six ounces of jumbo pasta shells. Oh wait, I missed an ingredient. Quarter cup of dry white wine, baby, wine. Today we are gonna use and try Pino Grigio, Grigio, because I looked up dry white wines and that was on the list. I don't know which one's best for cooking. So we'll see how it turns out. This one is 2022, crafted by the Castella family in Australia. Yellowtail wine. We'll see. And then I got my shells. Okay, so next thing is that, I'm gonna do a special little segment on this one. Our squash. I think it was actually this butternut squash that I purchased from the store and my cashier, she saw it and she's like, you know, I see these things about butternut squash. How do you actually cook it? Well, there are obviously different ways. My go-to way is to cube it um, and steam it. But it's really hard to cut, just like lots of the big squashes they're kind of hard to cut for cooking so if you have some anger tendencies this is a good one for you get your fork and you stab crap out of your squash <coughs> i'm stuck clearly i don't have enough anger management or anger issues i do it Poke it a bunch, 
Then I do a little turn, poke again, poke again. And then I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for about five minutes and then we're going to peel it. Ooh, hope my peeler can work this one. If they have too much of a curve, your peeler that's like this is gonna have a little bit of hard time because the, the edges hit the end and it stops peeling it. But we can figure it out if that happens. So I'm gonna nuke this baby for five minutes Careful when you do that, some of the little juices start to seep out and it gets sticky, um, which isn't a problem, it just makes your hands sticky. So, I'm gonna nuke this and then we'll be back when we come to peel it. Oh, okay. Hi, welcome back. So, we have just nuked our squash and it's very hot. I learned that the hard way. So, what we're gonna do now our cutting board and we're going to plop our squash on there and we're going to skin it. I, this is just a me preference, you can, you can put something here, whatever. I don't know how else to hold it in place so I put the stem towards my belly so that I can, oh yes, good angle, just skin the baby, skin the baby. That was a terrible phrase. That's not what I meant. Anyways, we're gonna um, peel the squash. Oh man, I hate how much you have to watch your words nowadays. It's too hard. We are just gonna take all, we're gonna peel the squash. Oh, oh she's burning my fingers. Whoop. That's what I mean. See, it's not catching. There we go. Hi, Thorn, baby. Ooh, this one got a blister in the microwave. Oops. So, once you take, once you nuke it, take the skin off, it's much easier to chop. And what we really want for this recipe is, what do we want? 12 ounces of squash. Cut into half inch pieces. All right, so check it out. We just took the skins off of our butternut squash. This one's not organic, so I'm not gonna save the bits and use them in like a broth or anything, but I am going to try and just get a little more of the edges off because we want as much of the squash as we can without the skins. Okay. All right. That's that one with the other side. So fun story, this squash is the shape you would expect. However, I have found a squash where this bulbous end was the other side and it was not the side with all the seeds and stuff. So, don't trust the shape of your squash. All right, so we're gonna clean this up a little bit and then we are going to chop our squash. Okay, we're back. I am using my hot pad to hold the squash because I don't want to burn my hands. And I'm gonna use the world's most dull knife to cut my squash. Why? Because that's what I have. I like to separate the bulb. Whoa! The bulb from the rest of it. Uh, I didn't do quite the best job. 
So we take our handy dandy. If you have a soup spoon, this is the best for scooping out squash or avocados or pumpkin because the, the roundness, rotundness, whatever, is great for getting just enough out. All right, so, Caesar out. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going, we want half inch. See how easy it is to slice it now that it's been, whoa, softened. Don't cut your fingers off, friends. Right. And then we just chop it into little cubes. Ooh, that was too big. Oh, what is happening, friend? This is not cutting as nicely as I had hoped, but we'll survive. Alrighty, I think I lost my husband. Uh, not really, like he's just, <laughs> he was watching and that was not. Sorry, that was weird. All right, so now we got our little um, slices or make little chunks. This is absolutely what I do. Uh, there was a time, and there will be a time again, where butternut squash was part of my meal plan. So I used to do this weekly. If I got a big enough squash, it was weekly. Otherwise, it was bi-weekly. And this is just like the prep phase. This isn't like, yeah, I nuked it, but no, it's not ready. It's not ready yet. So, all right, we got some chopped squash. Um, I'm not gonna chop the entire squash for you guys because not necessary for this recipe. We need, we need 12 ounces. Oh, wow, friend. I've never measured it in ounces. I've only measured it in grams. So I actually don't know how much that is. Uh, okay, I will measure because I have my handy dandy food scale. If you are eating based on the if it fits your macros lifestyle, you should always have a food scale. Why is that, friends? Because if you are not accurately tracking and measuring by weight your food, you're probably tracking it wrong. Get over the fact that you don't like to weigh it. I'm just kidding. I'm not saying that's the only way to make it work. It's not. But if that's the, the way that you're following, then you really do need to track it accurately. All right. We have some chopped up squash. By the way, I love Squash. All right, I'm gonna go measure this, see if we have enough. If not, I'll just cut the rest. Okie dokie. So, uh, uh, Alexa, volume down. So what we gotta do now, next, is combine our homemade ricotta, which is a quarter cup. Just filling it up there. Oop, made some more. Mash it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just did that. Okay. Oh, gosh. This good stuff is so good. Ricotta. Put this away before I keep eating it. Um, our two tablespoons of parsley. Two tablespoons of parsley. Ooh, 
boy. Oh, 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 oh. One, two. Oh, boy, this stuff stands strong. Who knew? Two. Okay, close this up before we spill it everywhere. Um, lemon zest is supposed to be half a tea, really half a teaspoon. That's it. Oh boy, we got a lot of lemon zest, friends. Half a teaspoon. Dunk. And pepper in a small bowl. Pepper is eight. Eighth of a teaspoon. Who wants eighth of a teaspoon? I don't. It's probably more than eighth of a teaspoon, but it's all right, guys. I like pepper. So do you. So, we got it in our bowl. And we're going to mix this puppy up. Lord, I can't wait to try this. Ooh, yeah. I have so much leftover ricotta. But not. Mmm. 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 Alright, we're mixed. Mixed up ricotta. Okay, next thing we are gonna do is we are going to heat all. Uh oh. We need one tablespoon of oil. Probably should keep it low. Medium heat. Until it gets shiny. I love when they say that. Until it gets shiny. Um, hate to break it to you, friend, but oil is shiny when you start with it. Don't mind me and my frustrations with oil. So, so heat the oil until it's shimmering. Add the squash. Ooh, I didn't measure the squash. I need 12 ounces. Handy dandy scale. We need ounces. Do not eyeball this. Measure is your friend. 12 ounces. which I did chop them uh, a bit more. I chopped it a bit more. We're gonna add both those in, plus our salt. How much salt? We need three quarter tablespoon of salt because everybody has a three quarter tablespoon. My smallest is a half. Oh, I'm not gonna even use this. Cause that shit's not gonna work. Where'd my tip suck on? So, 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 so. Are you shimmering it? How do I know what shimmering is? Who knows what shimmering is? It's, it's glossy, I don't know. Babe, do you know what shimmering means? Do you know what shimmering means when you're shimmering. talking about cooking oil? Shimmering. It's gonna shake a little bit. Okay. All right, so we'll come back when it's actually shimmering. Okay, so we have some shimmering oil. So we are going to add in our squash. By the way, it's hot. Ooh. Oh, the splashes. Our 
and salt. And we want three quarter tablespoons. God, I can't say it even. Three quarter tablespoons salt. Three quarter tablespoon. Who does that? Who does that? Alright. Where's my little handle? So, the plan is to. Oh. Add the squash, leek, and salt and cook until leeks are softened. Five to seven. Minutos. Surprised they want to cook till the leeks are softened. I mean, I would think they would want to cook till the squash is softened, but all right, friend. Ooh, it smells delicious. I don't want to lower it that much, but in fact. Doesn't say to cover, doesn't say not to. I'll just leave it out. Open air. Hi, Bottom. Hi, baby. Hi, big boy. My big boy pup wants to say hello. Oh, no, I'm not sharing this with you. I don't know if you can eat this stuff, friend. I need kind of pumpkin, but I don't think you could have the leaf. All right, I don't really know. All right, so we are heating this five to seven minutes. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes. And then five we minutes. are going to stir in the garlic and cook until fragrant. Stir in the wine. All right, we'll wait till then. All right, we'll wait till then, friends. Okay, so we added in our garlic. And we're supposed to cook till it's fragrant, and it smells pretty fragrant to me. So, we're adding in our dry wine. It says a quarter cup? Quarter cup. It's a very large part of me that wants to just pour the whole bottle in, but we'll save the rest for that dinner, maybe. <laughs> All right, and then... Uh, cook until nearly evaporated which means if y'all don't drink wine this is still okay because we're cooking out the alcohol all right i'm cooking it out it just it's not going to be there by the time you actually eat it that's what's happening here all right i'll let you know when this is done all right so this is super fragrant. The wine has cooked down. However, I have a couple cubes of squash that need just a few more minutes. I know it keeps talking about the leeks and stuff, but apparently I didn't cut my squash small enough. I mean, I mean, they're good. Like, it just goes through. It's not like hard crunch. I just prefer my squash a little bit softer. So, uh, we're going to let this percolate just a little bit more. Let me clear off the tops. Put this in here. Once it's done, we're going to stir in our broth, creamer, and pasta. So, oh, it didn't say to cook the pasta first. So, this is going to be exciting. So, let me measure out the broth, creamer, and pasta. Um, and we'll be right back. Music. All right, it's ready. So now, I mean, it's, it's ready for the next step. So the next step is stir in broth, creamer, and pasta. Uh, bring to a simmer, cover, and cook for a while. Okay, so it doesn't say a while, but we've got our, our whatever mixture. Ooh, I don't know if this thing's big enough. And then our pasta. So, 
on. Come on, come on, come on, Reds. Come on. Ah, oh, these noodles are holed up in each other. Necessary for the next event. I mean, they are unstuffed shells, so I'm trying to unstuff them from each other. sure all the noodles got some juices and stuff going on in there it doesn't say that but I mean if you're cooking pasta noodles you should probably make sure they have some juices and stuff in them okay everybody except you has juice and stuff in them so then it says to cover it, I think. All right. These are unstepped shells, friends. We're gonna cover them. Because it says stir in broth, pasta, and pasta, broth, creamer, and pasta. Bring to a simmer. Oh. Then cover. And cook, stirring often until the pasta is tender and soft as thickened. 15 to 17 minutes, off heat, season with salt, pepper, dollop with our ricotta. Um, all right, so what we're doing now is we're waiting until this puppy simmers. So we got, I'll let you know. Okay, so we are going to try our uh, it's called Blue, Blue Baby. From our vegan cooking for two by America's Test Kitchen. These are not my recipes. I'm just making them and he's going to try them. So, today we made unstuffed shells with butternut squash. And, yeah, we're going to try it. The, the ricotta is homemade. So, you're going to try this portion, friend. So, we're going to try it out. It's probably really hot, so blow on it a little bit. Make sure you get the like the the stuff and things, not just the noodle. All right, so we got a squash, a ricotta, and a noodle. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, buddy. All right. So like, this is the recipe today. I added some greens because we needed some greens. Can you say something more than mm-hmm? What's the flavor palette like? My mouth is full of flavor. It's exploding <laughs> with flavor. <laughs> it really is. So I was a little bit nervous on this one because the plant-based creamer had sugar in it. But the sweetness it adds is really good. So a vote yes on the unstuffed shells with butternut squash and leeks. Good time. Hey-oh.